All right, so this was August 24th, a Monday, in the late afternoon. The wind was anywhere from 20 to 35 knots gusting. We got the big winds from Hurricane Laura and Marco, the uh, Fujiwara effect, both of them going into the Gulf of Mexico, not really hitting the eastern coast of Florida. But it did give us some good wind and some awesome overhead waves. And this is probably one of the most fun days that we've had so far this summer with the kite surfing in Delray Beach. And as you can see, the shore break was pretty good size, about four foot as, you, as soon as you got in. And then the mid break was overhead. And on the outside, there was some pretty giant ones. So it was a pretty uh, epic day of kite surfing at Delray Beach, which is one of the better places to kite especially when we get these kind of winds and we get these kind of waves. There wasn't anybody else out there. I think there was one other person kiting with me. Oh, there I fell off. <laughs> but you got to get back quick because otherwise your board's going to get washed to the shoreline. So I jumped back on and keep her going. An excellent day of kite surfing at Delray Beach. Highly recommend it uh, for anybody who is an adventurous spirit. Uh, you will really dig this sport. It's pretty amazing. I would recommend taking some lessons from a competent instructor. Uh, it probably takes between 10 to 15 hours to learn how to do it safely so you don't hurt yourself or others. There are some inherent dangers involved in the sport, but uh, with proper instruction, you can mitigate much of the risk. Uh, <laughs> oh, and you have to know how to swim. All right, if you like this video, Please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on kite surfing, kite boarding, extreme sports, and stuff like that. Peace out.